I'm Kelly Moore, and this is Carl Savitz, and we're the founders of Flower of Life Healing Arts Center in North Boulder, in the Lucky Shopping Center, just above Dagabi. We've been open for a little over a year now. We celebrated our one-year anniversary just a little over a week ago, and we we entered into this industry with the intention of, of really making a difference in people's lives. That's something that's been very exciting for us. We, um, I spent 14 years working as a working in the healing arts and st studying plant medicine. So this was a really natural progression for me. Our shop functions a lot more like a clinic than you would see in other dispensaries. We spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with our patients. We've developed a lot of alternative delivery systems for cannabis um, for patients in need of options. We've created alternative delivery systems for patients in need of options. Um, not all patients are able to smoke or vaporize, and it may not be the right form of cannabis therapy for them. They may not want to eat a brownie. That might not be the right thing for them. We've created capsules, suppositories, an oral delivery spray that allows for sublingual and buccal absorption. Rapid onset um, delivery systems is something that patients are in need of, which is why they smoke or vaporize. Taking an edible, eating a brownie can take a long time for to come on in a person's system, and um, having access to rapid onset is really important. Um, we have a chiropractor, an acupuncturist, three massage therapists on staff. We function as a holistic clinic. Um, the services that we provide to the community are important. A lot of our patients are live in the neighborhood. Um, they own businesses in the area. And our, our shop is uh, in danger of being shut down right now by um, a zoning issue. To close down Flower of Life would be a grave disservice to the community. Our patients would have to go a great distance further to receive a fraction of the care that they receive here. So when the medical marijuana laws passed in the city of Boulder, um, the whole process was fairly quick because there was a lot of pressure to, uh, to sort of um, regulate the industry that was uh, some people thought was a little bit out of control. Uh, but there were some unintended consequences of some of the uh, items in the ordinance, one of which was that they disallowed medical marijuana in residential zones, uh, period. And what they didn't take into consideration was that there are a couple of residential zones in Boulder that actually have commercial businesses in them, and uh, the Lucky Shopping Center is one of them. When you look at a zoning map, it shows that it's residential, but if you come here, it's clearly uh, a, a commercial area. And so we've been working with the city council, uh, a couple of attorneys and some uh, land use consultants to try and figure out a way for the city council to amend the ordinance to basically just allow us to continue to operate here. Uh, we've been here for over a year and we have developed really strong ties in the community. Um, a lot of people walk over here. Uh, Lucky's is a thriving shopping center and we feel like we provide a valuable service to the people in this neighborhood and that we should be allowed to stay. Uh, and it, it looks like the city council was was uh, receptive to what we had to say and in early January they, they will take the issue up and hopefully um, include some language in the new ordinance that um, that allows us to continue to operate because uh, we think we're doing a good thing here and so do our, our customers.